going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you are all doing well today, mate. I really do hope that Chelsea have a problem. It's funny how that is always seemingly the case. Everyone knew Frank Lampard's Chelsea can score loads of goals and be an incredibly high-octane and exciting footballing side, but they'd always concede goals and that was a huge problem. Chelsea have now tightened up at the back with a superb and beautiful new defence and they've kept consecutive clean sheets, but seemingly at the expense of this free-flowing attack and a lot of people are questioning the personnel, the midfield, the situation. And there's a couple of players I want to talk to in relation to this. Mateo Kovacic, who's been left out of late, and a lot of people are asking questions. Why is Kovacic not playing? Could he be the man to link defence to attack? I also want to talk about young Billy Gilmore, who could be returning from injury very, very soon. And we saw this kid completely pull the strings in high-profile football matches and win Man of the Match awards. Could he be the answer? Maybe. I also do want to have a few words on Callum hudson Adoy, Obviously left out recently. How's he feeling about Frank? How's Frank feeling about him at the moment? How are we as a fan base feeling about that situation generally? So prepare yourselves, tuck yourselves in, and get comfortable as we crack in to, I suppose, the analysis of these players, something like that. Boys and girls, Chelsea are playing like every three days at the moment. It's frantic. You need to keep updated. You need to keep plugged in. You need to check out One Football. It's totally free, One Football, as you probably know by now from me telling you, but it genuinely gives you everything you need. It will give you the lineups as soon as they come out for Chelsea games, the match statistics, obviously the results as well, but you're probably watching the games, aren't you? And all Chelsea news as well, transfer, rumours, updates, Check out One Football. Click the link in the top of the description and do yourself that favour, boys and girls. All right, then let's get into it. Where should we start then? How about Chelsea's player of the season last season, Mateo Kovacic? One of my favourite footballers at Chelsea Football Club, Mateo Kovacic is an incredibly unique footballer. He's high, high class. Remember when we played Bayern Munich the first time round last season? He was the only player on the pitch that looked worthy or looks like a worthy the adversary to Bayern Munich. He was class that day. And ultimately, man, he is a class footballer. He dribbles like Eden Hazard. His ball progressions are excellent. He's got, you know, great combinational play. But bruh, he's not without his flaws, of course. His offensive work isn't great. Obviously, he scored a couple of goals under Lampard. He didn't under Sari. He used to be like a number 10 back in day, man. So I don't know where his offensive skills confidence went that's a little bit worrying but we know what he brings and ultimately at the moment perhaps more than ever Chelsea are lacking Mateo Kovacic they've got amazing forwards that will score goals combined amongst themselves and do the business because the quality is just there they've got the freedom to roam and move around and score Frank Lampard offers that to his forwards and now Chelsea have a good back five or back six if you include the goalkeeper and different formations and the defense looks more resolute but they look Looks like there's a problem in the middle of the pitch and could Mateo Kovacic be that man to take the ball off the defenders and dribble through the midfield, carry the ball? As things stand now like Loftus-Cheek's gone, he's really our only sort of proper ball carrying midfielder that can play in a midfield three or in a midfield two like the double pivot. He can literally pick up the ball and just you know force the issue, carry up the midfield into the final third give it to the forwards and let them do the rest. If you look at Sevilla and Manchester United, the nil-nil results, left you sort of feeling frustrated that there wasn't kind of that offensive transition. Sure, we tried to play the ball over the top, play out, get runners like Pulisic and Timo Werner, who of course are excellent in, at running in behind, but if that doesn't work, you need someone to literally take the ball with him. And I think Mateo Kovacic is really the only option for Chelsea when it comes to that. But boy, what an option, because he's amazing at that. So I kind of wanted to pose that question and get all your guys' thoughts. So make sure you drop down into the comment section below and if, tell me if you think Mateo Kovacic should be involved. Also, I want to take an opportunity to just say, while I've got your attention, I'd like you to follow me on Instagram, man, because I'm trying to get to that 10,000 follower mark so I can do the swipe up thing. Just a little plug. If you don't follow me on Instagram, at Football Yannick, 
just do it now quickly please. All right, let's keep going. Another midfielder that is absolutely worth talking about is of course Chelsea Academy starlet Billy Gilmore, who won what, Academy Player of the Season. I just realized I'm talking about Player of the Season and Academy Player of the Season in the midfield. That's nice. Yeah, Billy Gilmore did win Academy Player of the Season last year. And obviously, I, we've always talked back to it, the man of the match performance against Liverpool in the Cup, the man of the match performance against Everton in the Premier League, 2-0, 4-0 uh, respectively, and he looked amazing. He looked like he was dictating the whole game, and everyone was incredibly excited about him. Sure, he won't offer this same, perhaps, solution as Mateo Kovacic in terms of being a ball carrier, but if you want to play someone that's going to kind of do what Jorginho is doing, but maybe offer something a little bit different, a slight different play style, maybe dropping Billy Gilmore next to an N'Golo Kante. It may work differently. Who knows? Like, it's worth a try. This kid was the talk of the town after those two games. And to be honest, from what Frank Lampard said after Billy Gilmore's knee surgery, it's he's coming back soon, man. Like, we could be ready in like a week or so. If he's training with the first team, comes off the bench soon. I think don't be so surprised if Billy Gilmore has a big effect on this Chelsea first team. He has to be considered after loading out Barkley, after loaning out Loftus Cheek, you know, perhaps not buying this extra CDM that Frank Lampard tried to get in the summer. You know, there's space for Billy Gilmore to come into this squad and really impose himself and try and shift how the defense transitions to attack because really that's what we're talking about here. That's what the problem is at the moment. I genuinely think Billy Gilmore could be a solution. Anyway, you might agree with me, you might not. Perfect opportunity to get down into the comments and express your thoughts on Billy Gilmore. All right then, let's move on to our final player that we're talking about in today's video. Callum hudson Adoy, or Cho for short. What a incredibly talented youngster that's gonna find it very, very difficult to break into Chelsea's front line once everyone is fit firing and has good chemistry between each other. For example, we all know our preferred, or the majority of us, the preferred front three would be Timo Werner, Christian Pulisic, and of course, Hakim Ziyech. So it's gonna be difficult for Callum hudson Adoy, but he hasn't really had a sniff at the moment. And some people are wondering, is there some animosity between him and Frank Lampard? Now, I'd say almost certainly not. I haven't seen anything to indicate that, like an actual real piece of evidence. We all know Callum hudson Adoy re-signed because he wanted to play under Frank Lampard, play attacking football, and he knows Lampard believes in him. The issue is, the way Chelsea play, the wingers do need to do hard work and track back. hudson Adoy looks like he couldn't do this for a while, but the last couple of times he's played, he's been so much better defensively. And remember, this kid is 19 years old. I have such high hopes for him. I'm praying, man, this kid starts against Krasnodar on the, you know, I'd love to see, I will do a match preview for this game, but I'd love to see both him and Ziyech start on the wings, hudson Adoy left wing, Hakim Ziyech right wing, I don't know, Tammy up front, I'm not sure Frank would do that, but I think it would give him the world of confidence if he has a high profile start, a Champions League game, does well, gets an assist, scores a goal, that would do wonders for his confidence, his match sharpness, and I really want to see him integrate into the squad because I'm a little bit concerned at this point. The other two players I've spoken about in the midfield, that's about helping Chelsea's current issues transition from defence into attack. hudson Adoy just is kind of surplus to requirements at the, at the moment when he shouldn't be because this kid is so, so talented, he could become incredible. Saying that, I don't see what happens on the, you know, the training field. Maybe he's not training well. Maybe his stamina is not up to it. You know, maybe L Lampard sat down with him and they have an understanding of when he's actually going to be brought in, which might not be immediately you know, so therefore Callum hudson Adoy isn't bummed out about it or something. It's very difficult to, you know, understand. Anyway, as always, I do want your thoughts on this as well. So get down in the comments section, let me know about that. I also want to just take a moment and just thank all of you who have subscribed. Obviously, it's a big talking point for me at the moment because I'm going nearer and nearer to 100,000 subscribers. But when I check out the uh, analytics on the back end of YouTube, the vast majority of my viewers are not subscribed, so there is like a bunch of you who return to the uh, to football therapy every day, watch the, you know watch the videos, but you're not subscribed. If like a very small portion of you just subscribed, that would easily tip me over to a hundred thousand subs. So. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna ask man, if you are watching the content and you're not subscribed, please do drop a sub because it would help me out a lot 
uh, and thank you all so much to those of you who have subscribed and liked the video and showed all your support like that. So thank you guys. Um, stick around, more videos coming soon. Enjoy the football, and I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chalk. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I let me be